How's it going everybody? Welcome to the Dickadine Show! Today we are playing a Call of Duty 3 Zombies and we're going to tell some spooky spooky stories of spooky scepters and Scepter. ghost butts and... Sexy ghost butts. Sexiness. So I used to have this recurring nightmare. Um, it was always like the same event. Um, and I don't know if you've ever had that happen to you, but... Um, it, I, I've called jet memes. <laughs> I've I've had a few of them, and it, like my, eventually like I it's um it becomes like somewhat lucid, and I, I'm trying to like progress. Right. The dream. You right? remember got, the dream once yeah. you start having it again. So the dream was is it was like a flashback of like my seventh or eighth birthday party, and I had a bunch of friends in my backyard with the pool, and like the very first time it happened, like. My friends are in the pool, I go over and I'm like, hey, like, so like all of a sudden like everything feels heavy and then I look over at the fence and this fucking guy who resembled Imhotep from The Mummy, mm -hmm. you know, fucking breaks through the fence, everybody starts to panic, um, starts running around, and, like at the, the first one, like that was the end. Um, and then like the second or third time, like um, I see the, the kids in the pool, and like before he breaks through the fence, I'm like, oh god, here we are again. Like, right. And then the fence breaks, and fuck, like I, I'm like, good, everybody run, like I can save you from this, <laughs> even though I know it's a dream. Yeah. Um, and then there was a time where I realized early enough, and I just started booking. I got around my house, and I heard the, fa the, the fence break, and I'm like, all right, like I'm ahead of it. And I just kept running and running. And running and then like I was in some sort of like boardwalk area like yeah. in California and I'm like okay okay and I'm like uh, I gotta wake myself up gotta wake myself up and I uh, I saw like water like the beach and then like I felt him behind me and I like I looked and he was fucking chasing after me and so I'm like oh god I gotta get to the water I gotta wake myself up I get into the water and it's like really heavy and then I'm like oh yeah it's fucking wet it's wet <laughs> and then I woke up and I had wet the bed. <laughs> I never had that dream again. <laughs> it was like he was. <laughs> that was the last time. I like the, it's like he it's represented like your bowels, like coming and coming and coming, and then finally you're just like, okay. <laughs> In my yeah. tap is my bladder. Yeah. 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 Uh, so when I was like a lot younger, I had an older cousin, and it was like you know, typical older cousin, like doesn't really want to hang out with his little cousin sort of thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you prick. Yeah. So no, I I was the younger cousin. He oh. Me. Yeah, no, no, that's right. You're the prick. Get yeah. the fuck out. He just doesn't like. I'm people. still a prick. Uh, so, <laughs> like, I remember being at his house, and they lived in like this big house. It was in like Pasadena or Burbank or something. They lived in California, and it was like an older house. You know, like those. What the fuck is that? It had like those weird. It's like a weird spooky house. Like a typical like. This is where they'd make a haunted movie house. Right. Um. So like, I remember. Like, trying to find him or something, because I was playing, like, some video game, and I was like, alright, I'm done, I'm gonna go hang out with my cousin. I remember trying to go find him, and, like, I couldn't find him. And then I swear he, so I, he went in his mom's room, I'm pretty sure, so I, like, went to go follow him in there, and, uh, I remember, like, I couldn't open the door, he had locked it, and then, uh, I was trying to get through the door, basically, and I thought it was him, but, but, like, a roll of, like, uh, wrapping paper, like, went, came under the door. And, like, I was like, okay, he's fucking with me. So I went to go grab it. And I, like, pulled back in really fast. And so I was like, okay, for sure he's in there. Like, he just gave himself up. And then uh, I went, I finally, like, the door opened and unlocked it. And I went in there and I went to go look for him. And it wasn't a big room. It was, like, very, it would have been very hard for him to hide in there from somebody. And I looked everywhere, dude, and he was not in there. Uh, unless he, like, is fucking level 10 hide and seek <laughs> <laughs> at least but yeah he was just no gone possibility. It was fucking crazy it was like the weirdest thing so and once I realized like oh he's legit not in here I like got super fucking scared and like booked it out of the fucking room um oh, yeah fun. that's about it so once you left did you find him after that uh still missing like well, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. well still haven't found him if you're out there did, next time you saw him were you like hey were you messing with me or what, what was up no, I don't remember if I brought it up again. Because I don't think I saw him that day. And I kind of just forgot about it. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Huh. Yeah. You should ask him. Yeah, you like, should really like, ask him if he... If like, I, well, I don't think he'll even remember. Like, were, you in, were you in that room fucking with me? 15 years ago or something. 
Yeah. For, no, I had to be long enough. It's probably like seven. The only other thing I ever thought that was super fucked up and was really weird when I was super young. Uh, I lived in this like normal ass house. We had like like what's called Jack and Jill rooms. So like basically in the middle of your room, there's like a sliding door mm-hmm. that separates like two rooms. Um, and my sister and I ha- like basically shared a room because we were just kids at the time. But half of it was like our like playroom, like where all of our toys were. And the other half of it was like where we slept. Mm-hmm. I remember one time, this is like the last, like one of the last memories I have of that house. Uh, I remember like running upstairs to grab something, or we have to leave the house. And uh, I forgot something, and I was like, oh, go upstairs and get the thing. I think it was like my Game Boy or something. So I like, I'm ru- run upstairs to grab my shit. And I walk into the room, and like for some reason, I don't remember why, but like I stopped and like I walked, started walking really slowly. And like I grabbed my Game Boy. And I remember, I remember looking at the like one of the toy chests. And this is like back in the day when they had like the your toy chest was like a just like a grate, mm-hmm. like they were like, colored yeah. grates essentially, yeah. and you just see all the shit in it. And there's like my sister's baby doll, you know, like a, your typical like yeah, a creepy like, ass doll. Yeah, if you, you move, tilt it, it's eyes open. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. I doll. fucking hate this. So I, I was looking. At, I don't know why. I don't know why, but I was looking at it, uh, and it was upside down, mm-hmm. right? So there's no fucking reason it w- should have done this, but I was looking at it and it fucking blinked. And I remember fucking running so fast out of that fucking room. I was fucking absolutely petrified. I couldn't Jeez. believe it. Wow. I said, my sister had one of those dolls, and I took it outside, hung it up by the tree, and beat the shit out of it. <laughs> and I was like, you can never hurt anyone again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what those dolls are, man. Like, those Dude, are yeah. super... I'm pretty sure they got discontinued for, you know, like, serial killing or whatever. Uh, you know what I might have... I think the reason I might have stopped to look at it was because I thought it... I think, I think it made a noise. And you're like, there's no voice box in this. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's like, cool. Oh. That's creepy. Yeah, dude, I fu- dude, things with dolls freak me out. Dude, yeah. I mean, it, it could have been your imagination, but still, the fact the that, that like... It's vivid, man. Like, I yeah. don't... I mean, I, it could easily have just been science. Like, who knows? Yeah. It mean, could have shifted <laughs> to a certain point where, like, oh, oh now if the feed that's upside down, the eyes are like this. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, when I was younger, uh, there was a period where I lived at my grandparents' house because my parents were going through like rehab stuff, so we had to stay at my grandma's house. Yeah. Um, and so I was there for like a long extended period of time, and me and my sister were living there, and uh, our cousins came over a lot. They were over one time, and we were playing in my grandma's basement because you know that sounds like fun. Uh, <laughs> but we were like exploring because like my mom's room used to be in the basement, and my grandma's room was down there too. It's like a pretty big basement. It's not like you know like a spooky cellar. It's like it has you know nice flooring, and there's like a bathroom down there. Uh, but my mom's room was like just a bunch of boxes in like the hallway in front of her door, and her door was just like bolted shut, like it was like a sloth room where you're not like allowed to go. Yeah. Um, and so we were like exploring down there because it was like a little bit bigger than what like it it gave you to like led you to believe basically right. or like you would go down there and you're like this looks pretty small but i know the upstairs is massive so i mean there's got to be like you know places you can explore and uh there's like this laundry chute when you go down like you go down the stairs and then right here there's like a laundry chute and a bunch of shit there and a bunch of boxes in front of this area <clears throat> and we saw like this little like light peeking through one of like behind the boxes and so we moved all of them and there was like this narrow ass like little tiny door it was like it was a tall door but it was like thin so we like we opened it and went back there and there's this like this big like body furnace oh god <laughs> where it's like one of the ones where you fucking like slide open this industrial door and like climb into it and it has just covered in ash and shit and i don't know why the fuck it was there it must be like an old house that just was like heated by the furnace or something right but yeah it's just, it just ready to move. it wasn't like industrial huge it was just like big enough that you could put like a bunch of wood in there and stuff and uh, so you know we were, you know we're like oh someone go in there and I was like the youngest it was like my oldest cousin my sister and me so the other cousins were upstairs it's old cousins yeah I don't know, right like fucking d- dicks and uh, they were like okay yeah well you're the youngest so you got to go in and you're the smallest so you'll fit and I was like okay yeah. so I went in there and uh, I started to go towards like the very back of it and because there was like this big like massive clump in the corner. And so Probably I, a body. So I went. To, I was like going towards it. And I was like, and it's filled with ash. So like I'm already covered in ash, and it was just like, well, I'm already in here. I might as well go investigate. And uh, as soon as I get far enough in there, they fucking slam the door shut oh, and just hold it there. And it would the most terrifying, uh, like one of the most terrifying experiences of my life because yeah, it's just like again. the second it shut, just like, just like dead silence. Like, oh, have you no. ever seen the movie Dead Silence? Like, or there's like the scene where like. There's like a like a water pot going off, and then it makes that like, ooh, and then there's like a ringing, but it's like literally the sound of silence, yeah. where it's just you're like your head's like feels like it's gonna pop. Right. It's just so like fucking terrifying. And as soon as that happened, just like that ear piercing silence, and then just like this heavy feeling of just like 
there's something on top of me and just like just absolute terror right. and just like looking at and like obviously it was like a lot of it was like I was just freaked the fuck out but like looking in the corners and like feeling like there's things like shifting in the fucking the oven with me and I'm just like pounding on this thing to get out and <laughs> dude they were like I could hear them giggling for a little bit out there and then uh, I just like went in the corner and just started fucking crying and I just like just, well, so terrified and then uh, I went to go get out again and it was still like shut and they were just holding it there. I was in there for like a half hour oh my and God. they were just holding it. And then finally I got out of there and I was just fucking sobbing and they weren't down there when I finally got out. And oh. so, so I went upstairs and I was just like, what the fuck? I was like, why'd you guys hold me down there so long? And they're like, dude, we stopped holding it after like 10 minutes. And I was like, no. After yeah. like 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it, was, it, was it was a joke video. for 10 but minutes. But I was definitely, yeah, I, try, I tried opening it like, you know, several times throughout that half hour, but it was like shut every single time. And then finally I got out of it, but they said they stopped after 10 minutes so, and they weren't down there when I got out. So either they were fucking me or fucking me, they were, they were fucking <laughs> yeah. with me or maybe I just wasn't strong enough to um, hold it open yes. or like pull it open. But yeah, it was definitely like held shut like tight for like a half hour of me down there being terrified. <laughs> That's freaking and, Yeah, dude. Oh, that my sucks. God. I fucking hate that place now. I'm, like, pretty convinced my grandma's house is haunted, too, so it didn't help to be down there and, like, spooked out already and yeah. then just feeling like things are just touching me and, like, shifting in the fucking the ash. Is there a box in this It's one? definitely terrifying. Thank you guys for watching our extra spoopy, spectacular bonanza. Uh, thank you, Tony and Zessie, for stopping by and yeah. filming with us and telling us your spoopy stories. Uh, if you guys like the scary stories as opposed to the silly stuff, let us know and we'll try to do more of them. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.